guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be kicking off a new series which is a comprehensive guide to using Alchemy on Logic Pro. So you're just going to open up a project, go ahead and open a new software instrument and once you get here you're going to go to Instrument and Alchemy and Stereo and then Alchemy opens up. Now I know when you first see all of this stuff you as a beginner you look at that and think there's just an overload of information you kind of don't know where to start on it but what I'm going to do is give you a little walkthrough of the ba how to use basic presets in alchemy in this part and then in further parts we're going to go on to stuff like synthesizing your own sounds and adjusting sounds within the presets and changing sounds but today I'm just going to be looking at how you can use presets to your advantage so I'm just going to open the musical keyboard so musical typing so you can hear the sounds so I'll have that in the background so as you can see on this left hand side it says category now here you've got all your different categories of sounds which is arpeggiated bass, dr brass, drums, guitars etc so essentially at the moment on category we've got all selected so here on this side this is where the actual presets are so say analog up and this means every single preset within alchemy and a preset by the way is like the different sound the different um the different sounds yeah so a preset is a different sound so if i click on analog up this is what it sounds like and if i click on say this 80 sync lead that's what it sounds like. So as you can see, within the one instrument that is Alchemy, there are loads of different presets which create different sounds. Now, if you've got all selected in category, you can literally scroll through every single sound and try it and see what kind of sounds you need. Obviously, it sounds different higher and lower. So if you go up and down the keyboard, like, so you can always, you can get high and low sounds from every single preset. But so if you scroll down through all of these, you can see there is an absolute ton of presets that you can use and they are generally quite good. And I do use a lot of them in my beats 300, 304. You can see they were there. So presets are a really useful tool and I do use them a lot. Now, if you're say looking for a certain specific thing, you can go into category and say you want an arpeggiated sound, which is uh, a sound, you, you know, like a sound that kind of repeats that, I don't know, that's not a very good explanation, I don't know how to word it, but say you want an arpeggiated sound, click on there in category, and then over here, only the ones that are arpeggiated will come up. So let's try this. So you can hear the arpeggiation there, that repeated, of that, that repetition of the note. And... So when you're composing in your mind, you can be thinking, right, I want, an, I want a sound that's going to create that arpeggiation effect. And instead of having to scroll through hundreds of sounds, you can just narrow it down to the ones that are already arpeggiated. So that's, and that applies in the same way. And click on all on the left hand side here. When, if you want to get rid of that, now all sounds will be shown again here. So same applies with bass. If you want a bass sound, click on bass there in the category section and only bass sounds will come up so I've got to turn it down to a lower note to hear the bass properly but like as you can hear bass sounds and it works like that all the way down there's various different categories brass drums guitars keys leads Let's just show the keys as well so Antarctic Sun almost piano arpeggiation so so some of them can fall into two categories so this one is uh, in is keys and it's arpeggiated and then you've got uh, stuff like this it's quite a nice sound but yeah that's how the categories work then if you go on to uh, subcategories that can narrow help you narrow it down further like <clears throat> into acoustic sounds analog sound bass uh, not bass <laughs> bass sorry bell, bowed, chaotic, choir, there's loads of subcategories, personally I don't use the subcategories, I think the uh, normal categories are sufficient, but 
that's how you basically find the kind of sounds you're looking for. Once you've found a site, once you've found a sound that you think is a nice sound, there are ways you can change it within alchemy without having to actually do anything advanced yourself. So say I want, uh, let's just pick a random sound, droplets. Okay, so that's what that sounds like there. Now, at the bottom here, where it says perform, you have all these different settings. And at the moment, this droplets preset here is set on aquatic. And that's what it sounds like. However, if you click on all these other boxes, one of these other boxes, it'll play a different variation of the same sound. So it's like this. So you can hear that one is slightly different. A bit, it's slower it describes it as. That one's a bit faster. Yeah, it's a bit slower. The difference isn't very, uh, isn't very stark there. One, let's try tidal. So you can see that one has more of a sweeping effect to it. Calm. Texture. And I'm literally just clicking on a box to get the different sound. That one's got a more toned down. So, so the way you use this is, if you think you've got a sound that you quite like in the preset, but you don't quite like the first version of it, you can try out all the different versions of it. Let's try. So just you can really sort of craft your sound, not personally to you, but there's eight different choices to choose from within a sound that you already like. So you can really tailor make it to to what the sound you're desiring so and and also further within this say I'm on I've, I've selected aquatic here you can adjust things like reverb delay cut off resonance and so just to give you an idea of how it works I'll turn all the reverb down and see if you can hear the difference so there it sounds a lot more dry and if you go turn all the reverb up you can see it sound you can hear it sounds a lot wetter and more distant but they had it set to about there I think so it's in the middle and same with delay you can mess about with the delay take it all the way down by the way to move these knobs you just click on it and drag with your mouse take all the delay all the way down so that changes the sound quite a lot and if you took the delay and reverb down it would sound very dry And you can change all the things like the cut off. So if we took all of these sounds down, let me see what actually happens. It might not play a sound at all. Never actually done this. See, see like you can see how all these little knobs are affecting different aspects of the sound. Because actually, if you take them all down, there's barely any sound at all. There's just a little splashing kind of sound. So the cut off is another big one as well because it um, it cuts off certain frequencies. So as you say, as you can see, you can play around with all these little uh, knobs, and and you can find a, the right sound that you want for your song. So that was just this is part one, just a quick little introduction to alchemy, how to use presets to your advantage, and how to change the presets once you're once you've selected the preset that you like and i hope this makes you helps you understand alchemy a little bit more i'm going to be doing in the next video more in depth of how to make your own sounds and more in depth of how to change your sounds really specifically to what you want so i hope this has helped giving you a little overview of what alchemy does and how you can use it to your advantage uh, please like and subscribe share the video comment comment what you'd like to see next from me and thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.